Oh man, Kai Sinet is infuriated with the Secret Service. More on this. Let's get into it. Yo, what is going on, guys? Your boy Flelly, he's still under the weather, but we got some Kai Sinet drama and Kamala Harris, allegedly. Allegedly, I say. Uh, it's not confirmed through Kai, but it's pretty much confirmed. All right, Kamala Harris' campaign has reportedly been reaching out to popular streamer Kai Sinet for a potential collaboration on a live stream. Kai Sinet mentioned in a recent stream that he received multiple calls from the Secret Service regarding this proposal, which he found surprising given his lack of interest and knowledge in politics. Now, I'm going to be real. A lot of these rallies have been super popular because they're essentially free cons. I mean, we had the Cardi B thing. We just had the country one in Wisconsin. I mean, it's insane. They, they can't rally away just by themselves. They, they're not packing houses or anything like that. So these people are just showing up for a free concert pretty much. It's kind of insane to me that they're going this far. The disillusionment from the public eye, because there's a lot of people on Twitter saying, well, Donald Trump could impact this house like that. Donald Trump could do this. Donald Trump could do that. Yeah, well, Donald Trump also didn't have... <laughs> he did not have free concerts for you to show up to when he's making his speeches and everything because he didn't need to do that. I mean, Donald Trump is just kind of going on these live streams though, with Aiden Ross and everything like that, which is fine. I think Kamala Harris is more than capable of doing that too. I just don't know what streamer would have Kamala Harris on and, and be taken seriously. Like that Aiden Ross stream, I think was a great representation of, of streamers all around. Even though I have had my personal biffs with uh, Aiden Ross and uh, I don't think he was the best person. I still think that stream was very, very good for what it did. This move seems to be part of the Harris campaign strategy to engage younger voters through popular online platforms. The idea gained traction after former President Donald Trump appeared on Aiden Ross's live stream, which attracted significant attention and viewership. I think it was like half a million or more than half a million that was on there, which is insane to me. That was crazy to me. Kai Sinet has expressed disinterest in participating, uh, participating in political activities, stating he doesn't know how he doesn't know much about politics and is not inclined to get involved. The Harris campaign's attempts reflects a broader trend of political figures seeking to reach younger audience through digital and social media channels, and I agree with that. I think it's smart for these politics to get in touch and to, to get on these public platforms and, and stuff like that, to really, really get in uh, with the younger audiences, you know, they can make it more personal, make it more personable. You know, we get to really see their personalities and what they, they are, or who they are, and what they truly could be, because on a live stream, I'm not gonna lie, it's, with Kai Sinet, that that's not gonna really be scripted at all. That's all on air, you know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next one, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out of here.